Okay, so you need to choose an account name and a password. Uh, the account will automatically be created for you once you've chosen them, so make sure you write them down so that you don't lose them. Click on UO Forever here, that's the server. And then click New to create your first character. So character name. Um, there's only one uh, character with each name per server. It's a unique thing, so if you happen to choose the same name as someone else, when you log into the server, it will give you a message and you'll have to change it. Um, the options down here in the corner, Gargoyle and Elf are not available on the server, so don't worry too much about those. Hair color, pants color, facial hair, those things can all be changed once you're in the game as well, so if you make a mistake and you're not happy with them, you can change them later. Once you're happy with what your character looks like, click the Accept This Character button in the bottom right. Now we're at the uh, Character Template window, which is where we're going to start deciding about what our character's skills should be. None of the templates here are actually useful for what we want to do, so we're going to actually go to Advanced under the Ultima Online icon here, and we're going to pick our own skills and some stats. And here we have the three, left side you have three main skills, or, sorry, three main skills and three stats uh, in Ultima Online. Strength is the first one, and it's the most important stat for any character. It determines your hit points and how much stuff you can carry, so we want that one to be fairly high. Um, dexterity is the next one. It determines how quickly you swing your weapon and also your stamina, which allows you to move around. And then there's intelligence, which determines your mana and the rate at which you re uh, regenerate your mana. So if you're going to be casting spells, it's going to be important. Uh, the first character I want you to create right now is going to be uh, an adventurer type character, so you can explore the world and get comfortable with the combat mechanics and how to raise skills and things like that. Because the Ultima Online is a skill-based game rather than a level-based game, which means that Everything's, every single skill you have starts at zero, and you gain them by doing them. So let's just click here and take a look at some of the skills that are available to you. Um, it's a huge list here, and each one of them is pretty self-explanatory, i.e. mining, allows you to mine resources. Uh, Majory is what we're actually going to pick right now, and that's the spell casting skill in the game. Um, it gives you access to a wide range of spells that allow you to heal yourself, protect yourself, do damage, and uh, teleport around the world really easily. So it's definitely the most, one of the most versatile skills and most important skills to get a comfortable with. So we're going to put that to 50. And you get 100 skill points to distribute here at the start. Each character has a maximum skill point distribution of 700 points. So we're going to talk a little more about how to distribute those points effectively in a future video. But for right now, don't worry too much about it. Just 50 majories per start point. And the other skill we want is resisting spells. It does exactly what it sounds like. It helps you resist magical attacks from monsters or from players. So having this skill on most of your adventuring characters is going to be very important to help you survive player attacks and monster attacks. And the third skill we're going to pick here is our weapon skill, so that we start with a, a one of the weapons that we can train with. So the options are archery, mace fighting, swordsmanship, and fencing. And we're going to, I, I prefer to go with uh, swordsmanship. There will be another video that goes in detail through the different uh, combat skills to decide the advantages and disadvantages of each one, but for right now, Swordsmanship is a good pl starting place, it has a fast attacking weapon in the katana, and then a high damage weapon in the halberd, so those are both useful for us. We're going to adjust these sliders, move it down to about 45 strength, about 15 dex, it's perfect, and then about 20 intelligence is what we want, just as, so that we have some balanced statistics so we can cast some spells, we can run around, and our weapon swinging isn't too slow. Okay, then we're going to hit the green arrow and uh, get started in the world.